This is the screen that the user will come across when he will open the app. He needs to tap on this screen and he will get redirected on this second screen. Now here he needs to enter his phone number. Okay, for now I am entering my phone number here and I am entering my own name. And then he, the user needs to click on this button in order to receive an OTP. So he will get an OTP here. 67284 is the OTP and here he is going to see his name. Fine. Then he needs to click on this button. 67284 is the OTP. We are going to use this OTP here. Now if suppose uh, the user enters an incorrect OTP, I want an error message like this to get reflected. So this is how the error message is going to get reflected. Now let's enter the correct one and see what is going to happen. So the user is going to get redirected on this screen where he has to enter his uh, you know address. Now I'm going to enter this Shastri Nagar. Let's hit this button and automatically the user is going to come across this screen. Now here the user's name is going to get reflected right on the top and this is the address the user has mentioned some while back on the previous screen. Now we have got uh, some images over here. If suppose the user wants to purchase a burger then he need to click on this button over here automatically he will come on this screen now he has to click on this image and he will come across this screen where he can modify his order now you know this is the price these are the prices of these items that are mentioned over here if he want to increase this item so he just have to click on this plus button and the you know you can see the items getting increased now if you want to add if you want to add the coke to your order you can just click on this item add button over here and that's how you know you can add coke and fanta and whatever things you would like to for uh, any order if you want to now uh, you know reduce this thing you just have to click on this and automatically this thing will get reduced by one now the total uh, is get is going to get reflected over here this is a total amount that the user is user has to pay user is required to pay for the order now in order to place the order he just have to click on this button over here and the order will get successfully placed so this is the zomato's app okay which we are going to talk about today which we are going to code today let's dive into the platform and check out how can we code this full-fledged Zomato's app this is the first screen that the user is going to see when he will open the app so what I want is when the user will tap on this screen I want him to get redirected to screen 2 so this is how I can do that right we need to set the screen to screen 2 and here we need to select screen 1 sorry uh, where is that screen 1 option yeah this is the one now when the user will get redirected on screen 2 there are again three components over here now for these two components he has to fill in the details uh, he need to put his phone number here and his name here and then when he will click on this button I want him to get redirected the screen what is the ID of this button? It is OTP1. So we need to select OTP1 from this drop down. Let's select OTP1. Where is that? Mm, this is a one. And we want him to get redirected to screen 3. You know, that's how we can code the app, right? Let's come on screen 3 and see what all components we have on this screen. So we have got a text uh, box over here where we want to get the name of the user reflected so how can I do that what I will do is I will make use of this set property option and the idea of this one is name 3 name 3 and I want the name of the user to get reflected over here right 
so the name the user is going to enter his name here in this field what is the id of this field it is text underscore input 29 so we can get the i name from here just a second set property name 3 okay and how are we going to get the name from this uh, box over here let's make use of that get text block where is that get text block yeah this is the one so we can make use of this thing and from this drop down menu we are going to select text underscore 29 perfect so now we will be able to get the name of the user reflected over here now what else do we require we require a random OTP to get generated over here automatically so for doing that what we can do is uh, we can again make use of this uh, set property block okay and we can paste it here what is the idea of this it is get OTP 3 so we are going to select get OTP 3 from this drop down that you're seeing get OTP 3 Uh, get yeah this is the one so what we are going to do now is we are going to generate a random OTP number of five or six digit for this field for doing that what we can do is instead of using this get text field over here we are going to use a mathematical operator that is you know random number function we can use right and we want a number somewhere in between let's say 60,000 and 10 lakh okay so it is going to give us a random number which will act as an OTP for the user <coughs> to book the order now the user needs to hit this button login with OTP and he needs to get redirected on screen on next screen that is screen 4 let's make use of this on even block again and what is the idea of this it is OTP login 3 we need to select OTP login 3 from this drop down over here that you're seeing the students who haven't attended the previous lecture please do watch the previous lecture and get your logics more clear uh, so this I want to get redirected on screen 4 that's how I can do it right let's come on screen 4 and see what all things we have got screen 4 so we have got a text box over here where <coughs> where I want the number the phone number of the user to get reflected because it is written over here to confirm your phone number please enter the OTP we send to so we need to get the phone number for this thing let's make use of this set property block that we have made use over here and what is the idea of this it is phone number so we need to select phone number from this drop down okay and we need to set the text to what where are we going to get the number phone number from we can get the phone number from this id that is phone one so from this drop down we are going to select phone one where is that phone one option i have just seen it yeah this is the one so now we will be able to get the phone number reflected over here now I want that initially this message should not get reflected over here so what I will do is let's hide this component first the idea of this is OTP text so we are going to make use of hide element block let's put it here okay or let us put it here on this part fine uh, now what I want is I want to hide this component initially so let's select OTP text okay and uh, now if suppose a user enters an incorrect OTP here so I want this message to get reflected how can I do that by defining an if loop so for that I'm going to convert it into a text based code first let us define an if loop 
so what are the two things that we need to compare first of all we need to get the text of this ID that is OTP 4 <coughs> because we need to compare the text of this ID with what we need to compare the text with this ID right the text that is here in this ID that is get OTP 3 so we are going to copy this thing from here and we are going to paste it like this okay and what is the ID of this it is get OTP 3 so we let's replace this OTP 4 with get OTP 3 I think the name is perfectly fine right yeah everything is fine so what I want is if the if both the things are correct I want the user to get redirected uh, to screen 4 sorry to screen 5 let's select the screen set screen option that's how I can get the user redirected to screen 5 else what I want is I want uh, this element you know I want this message to get reflected over here that's how I can do it right now let's convert it back into block based code so this is the whole code that I've written over here fine let's come on screen 4 this is a screen 4 so we are done with Where this that get text property yeah, this is a one okay and I need to text underscore input 9 is ID fine okay and after that uh, the user is going to get redirected on screen 3 where he will receive an OTP set property okay uh, let's let's do one thing let's remove this thing from here for now and in place of this let's make use of set text okay or do we have set number yes we have set number also so let's have let's use this function for now random number I want a random number somewhere in between 60,000 and 10 lakh okay now I think this is fine and what is the ID of this it is get OTP 3 so I need to select get OTP 3 from here where is that get OTP 3 this is a one part now when the user uh, okay one more thing that I am I didn't coded is this button I have not defined the code for this button so set screen OTP login 3 this is fine this is fine okay we need to define this if loop for this uh, button okay we have defined it by mistake for this button we need to define it for this login button that is visible to us uh, what is this OTP button 4 we need to change the ID to OTP button 4 first yeah and let's pick up this if loop and put it over here like this just drag and drop it okay so when the user will click on this OTP button uh, sorry login button the text he has entered in this box will will be compared with the text with a random number that will get generated automatically here and if the matches so he will be redirected to screen 5 otherwise this element will get reflected okay so that's how we have coded this button now let's come on screen 5 so we on screen 5 we have got a component address component where the uh, you know uh, user is required to enter his address here we have got another uh, button for which we need to define the code ID of that this button is locate 8 let's select locate 8 from this drop down and I want the user to get redirected to screen 6 on screen 6 yeah so now the user is going to get redirected on screen 6 if he clicks on this locate 8 button 
so here we have got two uh, text boxes or you can say input boxes over here okay where uh, in this one I want the user's name to get reflected and this in this one I want the address of the user to get reflected so how can I do that following that I can again make use of this set property block right this is a block that I can make use of what is the ID of this it is name 6 so name 6 and I want to get the text okay so I want to how can I get the name of the user I think I have used it here okay so we can copy and create a copy of this get text and we can put it here so like this we can get the name of the user similarly we want to get the address of the user too so that's how we can do it what is the idea of this it is address 6 address 6 and what is the ID of the component in which the address is there it is address 5 in which the user is going to ad enter his address so let's uh, select address 5 from this drop down okay now we will be able to see the user's name and ad address over here we've got a button also the logout button so when the user in case the user clicks on this button I want him to get redirected on the first screen what is the idea of this okay this is the one and let's select let's help the user in order to get redirected the screen what is the name of the screen yes screen one and you know besides that I want that whatever information the user has entered in screen two uh, screen three and screen four all the information should get eliminated okay so how can I do that in order to do that again we can make use of this set property block okay let's set the property for the components that we have got on first of all we are going to set the property that we have got on screen 2 so we have got this phone 1 and text underscore input 9 where is that phone 1 option phone 1 yeah this is the one okay and text I want the text to be I want nothing should get reflected over here so I'm going to leave it empty like this fine similarly I am going to define the same code for the other component also that is text underscore input 9 okay that's how you can eliminate the information whatever information the user has entered text underscore 29 what else do we have uh, okay we have got the name here of the user name 3 so we need to define the same thing for the for all the components in which we have the information of the user okay remember this thing this is the key concept name 3 okay we need to select name 3 from here this is name 3 what is this get OTP 3 we need to get rid of this get OTP 3 also okay let's come on screen 4 what else, what is the thing that we have got on screen 4 so we have got this OTP 4 over here we need to get rid of this one also OTP 4 where is that OTP 4 yeah this is the one okay and after that I think everything is fine okay in here also we have got one more component that is address component let's get rid of this uh, address also address 5 so you know this is how you can erase all the information the user has entered it is address 5 okay and now what else do we have we have got name 6 and address 6 also so we don't need to remove this information because you know automatically the information is going to get changed so let's uh, you know 
leave it for now now this is what is going to happen when the user is going to click this button all the information will get erased automatically okay and the user is going to get redirected on screen one now we have got one more thing here uh, if suppose a user wants to purchase this burger so we need to define the code for this image button also that we have got on this screen the ID of this is burger 6 let's search for that ID this is the one so I want the user to get redirected on screen 7 do we have a screen 7 or screen 8 yeah screen 8 we have so we would like the user to get redirected on screen 8 now again on screen 8 we have got two components of a three components of air these are the two text boxes right on the top where I want the name of the user to get reflected and the address of the user to get reflected so I think this is how I can do it I can copy this code from here okay uh, I need to copy these two lines right I need to copy these two things from here and I need to put it here like this and what is the ID of this one it is name 8 so in place of name 6 I'm going to have name 8 and in place of address 6 I'm going to have address 8 fine uh, now what else do I want when the user will click on this button I want him to get redirected to screen 9 so what is the idea of this it is burger 8 let's see where do we have burger 8 yeah this is the one so the user will get automatically redirected on screen 9 that's what I want where is the screen 9 screen yeah, set screen option this is the one so this is how I can get the user redirected to screen 9 so here we have got uh, you know three different things one is this uh, you know uh, this whole uh, menu or you can say uh, big mac spicy paneer wrap extra value meal okay and if he want if the user wants to add coke he can do that also if he wants to add fenta he can do that also now accordingly we have got some buttons over here using which the user can add these things in his order how we are going to code this thing that we are going to see now first of all we want you know the address of the user to get reflected over here how can we do that again we need to make use of this set property block for the address that we have used okay and we need to put it here like this what is the idea of this it is address 9 so set property address 9 equals to this okay now what else <coughs> do we require when the user will hit this minus button okay I want initially it is going to be 1 so initially I do not want it to be 1 or shall I make it 1 uh, let's make it 1 initially what is the what is the idea of this it is price 1 so in this in this design section we need to you know change the value for this price we initially we want this you know this amount to get reflected right okay so that's fine I think increase let's increase the uh, width of this button so that we can see all the values over here okay now it is fine I think or let's make it 80 now we are able to see everything right see now what we want is if the user clicks on this uh, plus button so he wants that this one more uh, you know one more uh, you know the one more thing should get added to his order right how can I do that this is what I need to check out now so first of all we are going to define a variable for the scene let's define a variable for this thing for first of all let's define a variable for this first part where is that where is it where yep this is the one so we can 
define a global variable right on the top let's initially uh, we are going to keep it equal to zero okay and now or else we can keep it equals to one because you know initially it is going to be one only fine so let's keep this value equal to one now when the user will hit this button what should happen let's define the on even block for that first what is the idea of this button it is plus one so we need to select plus one from here where is that plus one I'm searching for yeah this is the one so when the user will hit this button I want this value to get incremented by one now how will I do that uh, text underscore input 28 is the value of this is the, is the idea of this uh, text box over here so what we are going to do is first of all we are going to increment the value of x by one so this is how we can do it right and then we are going to put set the text of this now let's set the text of this uh, input box over here what is the idea of this it is text underscore input 28 text underscore input 28 this is a one and what is the id that what is the text that i want to get reflected over here i want the value of x to get reflected here so this is how i can do it just i'm going to place x okay so this is how I can get the value of x reflected over here and similarly you know accordingly I want this price also to get changed how can I do that how can I calculate the price of uh, price here so for doing that what I can do is I can make use of this set track at set property block again put it over here what is the ID of this uh, text box it is price one so let's set the price of this one equals to x multiplied by it should be x multiplied by the initial value right so 308.05 so that's how i think we can code this thing and similarly what i want is want to set the similar code for this image button also what is the idea of this it is minus one so we need to select minus one instead of plus one right and here we need to replace this x plus one with x minus one and it should be in small letters it is in capital letters it should be in small letters right so this is how we can code the app okay now we need to do the same thing for these two also okay let's define the on even block first and now let us define one two more variables one for this and one for this right on the top over here let's keep a y and it should be equal to 1 sorry initially it is going to be 0 fine similar similar thing similarly I am going to define another variable for Fanta also this is how we can generate the bill right let's come at the bottom and now what I want is when the user will click on this button I want what I want is what can I do in that case okay when the user is going to uh, hit this button I want the value of y okay the value of y to get incremented by one okay that's what I want right this is the first thing that I want should happen now i'm going to make use of this set property block let's put it over here and 
and what is the ID of this? It is Price Coke. Let's select Price Coke from here. Okay, and the text which is going to get reflected over here is equals to it should be Y into it should be Y into 57.14 right so it should be y into 57.14 okay uh, let's convert it back into block based coding and do the same thing I'm going to do the same thing for this button to copy the code and paste it here what is the ID of this it is add coke so we need to change the ID also right add coke where is that add coke here this is the one similarly we need to define the code for add fenta 2 and let's replace it with z the third variable okay and here also we need to replace it with z and we need to multiply it with 59 which is the real cost of this Fenta and price Fenta we need to replace this with price Fenta where is that okay so we are done with coding for these defining the code for these things over here now comes the last part that is how can we calculate the uh, total okay we need to calculate the total amount here let's come on the designing part first I want to what is the size of this it is the width of this is 80 let's define the width for this too as 80 and this too I'm going to keep it for this too I'm going to keep the width 80 and in in place of this I want to get reflected something else so I would like to have a button over here so this is how you know I designed the app this is an image that you're seeing and I put these components over the image these are simple mobile snapshots okay uh, here I want the user generate the bill okay so the bill is going to generate it sorry place the order let's make it like place the order and let us change the color of this button to Now this is I think this is fine. Okay, let's let's I'm recording kar raha hu yaar main recording kar raha hu please samajh mein nahi aa rahi. Main jaanta hu main jaanta hu main jaanta hu ek minute bahar aa. Main aapko main aapko dikha raha hu bar bar aa rahe ho yaar. Recording kar raha hu main beech mein recording kharab ho gayi itne ghante ki aap. Itne ghante ki recording kharab kar rahe ho yaar. So we need to change the font of this. So this is how we can change the font, right? Now it is looking fine. Now here we are going to get the 
we want the final you know price to get reflected so how can we do that what we can do is see these are the one two three four these are the four buttons which we had defined the code for okay here in this section in this workspace let's calculate the final price on the b you know inside these four event blocks how can we do that for doing that we are again going to make use of this set property block <coughs> and what is the idea of this it is total nine so here we are going to put total nine okay and we are going to what is the thing that we need to get reflected over here that's what we need to check out so the text that's that what uh, what I want to get reflected over here is the value of this box that is price one so instead of using get text now I am going to use get number let's make use of this let's make use of the mathematical operator first and here I am going to place where is that get number here this is the one so I need to get the number from three different fields one is this one is the second one is this and third one is this what is the idea of this it is price one price one besides we need to get the number from what is the idea of this it is price coke and what else do we have we need to add it with this uh, price filter right so get number from price filter price filter now it is fine and you know here uh, there is a mistake what is a mistake let me just tell you that too here you know uh, initially the value of this this thing should be equal to zero and this should be also equal to zero because otherwise we will get an error so for correcting this thing let's make the make it zero for now and here also we are going to keep it as zero now I think this is fine because when we are going to add it right so uh, we will not be able to get the number in that case I think that is perfectly fine now the same thing we need to define for this add button also and this add button too you just have to copy the code and paste it like this okay now this way we will be we can get the total amount uh, you know to get reflect it will be reflected over here in this total 9 ID component now when the user is going to hit this button place the order I want him to get redirected on the last screen that is screen 10 for doing that I'm going to make use of this on even block again and let's what is the idea of this it is button 2 let's select button 2 from here from this drop down okay and I want the user to get redirected to screen 10 the final screen besides what do we have on, uh, in the, on the final screen 
so here I want the total amount to get reflected right how can I do that for getting the total amount reflected over here we can make use of uh, the set text property block again the set property block we can make use of right and now what we can do is what is the idea of this button it is total 10 so we are going to have total 10 and what is the text that I want to get reflected over here I want to get the total amount from where can I get the total amount I can get it from total 9 field so I am going to make use of get text option get text I'm going to make use of and what is the ID of this it is total 9 now in under the inside these double inverted commas I'm going to write total 9 and that's how I can get the whole thing so finally the, um, uh, the order will get generated on this screen 10